this sponsored Saturday. It's Thursday, isn't it? We're switching Thursday and Saturday this week. This sponsored Thursday is brought to you by Helix. You can go to helixsleep.com slash GB and get an exclusive code for up to $200 off your Helix mattress. I just want to give Helix a huge thank you. This is the first time that they're sponsoring this channel and they seriously went above and beyond. I know you guys know that like sponsored content makes a really, really big difference for creators and um, they're just so cute and nice and uh, they sent me a bunch of really, really cool like props and, and pieces and like cute little things. Um, so I thought since they do wonderful mattresses that um, I would incorporate it more into the video. And so this is, as you can see by the title, a mattress selection plus sleep trigger sleep aid video. So you'll see a bit of it in there, but before the video starts, I want to give you the fast facts and just say thank you so much to Helix for supporting and sponsoring this video. Helix has mattresses designed for your sleeping position and your firmness preference. They have a quiz that's online. It takes like two minutes to complete in the video. I do the quiz, but I drag it out because I'm an ASM artist. It's what I do. And if you are a couple, you can enter both of your information and the color match will find the best mattress for both of you, which is really great. I got the Midnight mattress and it comes in a midnight regular or a midnight luxe and you know your girl went for the luxe but helix mattresses are insanely comfortable they are made in the usa shipped right to your door and have hundreds of individually wrapped coils that make them super super supportive comfortable and wonderful Helix mattresses come with a 100 night sleep trial, so if you don't love it, you can send it back and they'll even pick it up for you. I already took a nap. <laughs> I already took a nap in mine. We set it up and uh, I fell asleep and now I'm filming this video really late. So <laughs> let's get to it. So you can click the link below or go to helixsleep.com slash gb and get an exclusive code for up to $200 off your Helix mattress. Enjoy the video. Hey. You can't sleep? That's okay. That is what I'm here for. Let's see what we can do. Okay. So. It looks like you might need a new mattress. We definitely need to talk about your sleep habits. And I can test some triggers on you. Yeah. We'll do that until you fall asleep. How does that sound? Good. Okay. First thing. you're wearing looks pretty comfortable. Is there anything you'd like to adjust or are you too warm, too cold? Okay, good. Well then, may I interest you in a fluffy face mask. You don't have to put it over your eyes now, but I find that just having a face mask on my head makes me kind of go into sleepy mode. And this is a really cute one, too. I think it is probably the softest face mask I've ever used, so... What do you think? I'm gonna go ahead and put this over your head then. 
not over your eyes, but there you go. Love you, bunny. Would you like some tea? It's calming tea, so no caffeine, of course. Okay. I just have this electric kettle. I'm going to turn it on, so you're going to start hearing it um, begin to boil pretty quickly. Just so you know what the sound is. All right. Did you need anything else? Okay, then let me see. All right. Would you like to pick your candle now? And then we can go over mattress types, selections, preferences. Okay, great. Let me show you what I have. I have a few scented candles. Each one is wonderful. You really can't go wrong. Here's our sugar cookie. Very sweet. Apologies for interrupting the candle selection. I always forget how quickly these electric kettles work. Now you said you would like some honey, yes. Wonderful. Wonderful. Alright. Now, don't think that I'm weird, but I'm going to be using a plastic fork. It just stirs a bit, uh, a bit nicer without the clinky metal. So, Definitely very hot, so be careful, okay? I'm gonna place this right next to you on your little bedside table. There you go. And you can drink it maybe when it cools down a little bit, okay? Good. Yeah, please enjoy. And let me know if you want any more. Okay. So. Sugar cookie. 
coffee candle mm -hmm. very holiday scented to me we're getting into the fall which is almost winter I believe it's less than 100 days 100 days until Christmas then we have our very popular lavender spa woodwick candle very soothing floral relaxing and woodwick uh, makes such a pleasant sound when you burn it then our other woodwick candle it's a personal favorite I always pronounce this wrong, so forgive me. It's fresh balsam. How did I do? All I know is that it smells amazing. There you go. Mm. Yes. And finally, our limited edition candle that is smoked bourbon. Um, not surprisingly, a very woody, earthy scent. Spicy. <laughs> Wonderful. I love this one. Do you have a preference? I think we can do the lavender spa. But yeah, especially if you're having sleep troubles. Lavender can absolutely aid. You see lavender in uh, almost any sleep scent. I'm just gonna go ahead and light it with a match. You can hear it already, right? You should be able to smell it pretty soon. I can set this next to your tea. It won't be too precarious. No, no. a little bit farther away. But we want you to be able to hear it. Okay, great. Okay. You have your tea. Comfortable. Candle. Let's talk about uh, your mattress, your sleeping patterns, your preferences before we make you fall asleep, okay? Awesome. Alright, I'm just gonna ask you some questions, and um, since we're providing this test via Helix's help, I naturally want to get some information on your bed, your mattress, your sleeping habits, um, especially if you're looking to move or replace a bed. I think this is crucial. Alright. Easy questions, I promise. What size mattress would you like? Twin? Twin XL. So that's just going to be um, a twin bed that is longer in length. So good if you are an adult on the taller side, but have limited space in your room or want more space in your room. 
full. Queen. King. Or California King, which is a bit bigger. Okay, great. And for how many sleepers? Okay. So, could I get your name? Just want to get the... You want to use uh, your age. And your gender. What is your height? Okay. And your weight? Approximate. Okay. Thank you for all of that information. Now let's talk about the feel. So, I do have some samples with me. Would you like to see them? I think that would be I think that would be best because sometimes it's hard to uh, to know what you like. Here are the foam samples. And we'll go through each one. If you like a soft feel, this is a soft top that lets you sink in like a cloud. Here you go. You can feel this. Then we have our medium. Surprise, this is a balanced feel for the top of your mattress with a little give. So if you like it to be soft, but you also find support um, crucial, you might want to go for a medium. Go ahead and feel this. Heavenly. Absolutely heavenly to touch. <laughs> I love these foam samples. Exactly. is, of course, the firm feel. Now, as far as firm goes, you can see and touch. It is still extremely comfortable. But this is if you want almost no sink or give. You're really looking for that support, depending on, you know, we'll talk about if you have any sort of pain in your body when you sleep in your current mattress. Okay. If you rate it on, you know, one to ten, a soft would be one to three, medium four to seven, and firm eight to ten. Perfect. Okay. If you're not sure, that's fine too, but thank you. So, 
Now I'd like to talk about your sleeping position because it does make a difference. Um, it, it, it'll determine how much pressure relief you need uh, on different parts of your body. So let's use this as our mattress example. And say we have our little friend here. Um, do you sleep on your back? So you tend to fall asleep or wake up on your back. <laughs> Completely straight sleeping. Or, very commonly, the side sleeper. So you either fall asleep or wake up sleeping on either one. Of your sides. <laughs> Sometimes waking up with uh, your arm a little bit asleep. <laughs> or the stomach sleeper, the hardest one for our little friend here, where you fall asleep or wake up sleeping on your stomach. Or do you find yourself sort of tossing and turning all night? Sometimes one, sometimes the other. Okay, great. I personally am a side to stomach sleeper. Mm -hmm. I also sleep with my five pound dog in my bed, so I'm usually like half spooning the dog. <laughs> Is there an option for that? Perhaps. Alright, in terms of the relief that you're looking for, do you ever wake up with back pain? We're talking like rarely, so less than twice a month, sometimes a couple times per week, or often, like almost every day. Okay. Alright. Well, I can process these answers and figure out exactly what bed you would need. Would you like to see the different types? Absolutely. This little booklet here. There's a lot of information that I can uh, give to you to look over, perhaps tomorrow. We have the Sunset, so that's a softer top of the bed, so like sinking into a cloud. The moonlight, which is a, a bit more, um, a bit more support, but still extremely soft. The midnight which is a medium feel, so not too firm, not too soft. Really good for side sleepers. A twilight, which is a very firm feel, no sink, but comfortable yet solid. And dawn, which would be another firm. So it would really depend what, uh, what sort of uh, answers you gave, etc. Over 1,000 individually wrapped coils. So, I have uh, individual cards as well. So, here you can see the midnight, medium feel, side sleepers. Dusk. Medium feel for fall positions of sleeping. Twilight. Firm for side sleeper. Dawn. Sunset. Light. Absolutely. I'm going to go ahead and gather these cards for you.
thank you so much for taking the quiz with me. Uh, go ahead and put this over here. And, um, I think we should move on to some of your sleeping habits. So it's really just a few questions that I'd like to ask in order to curate a couple of triggers for you that I'd like to do um, to sort of end our session. It'll be a quite long part of the session, but with the hopes that you'll fall asleep during it, <laughs> of course. Um, okay, let's see. Sometimes we need to change the physical surroundings in our bedroom to get better sleep. So tell me about your current situation. How is your light situation? Do you find yourself waking up when the sun comes up because it's so bright in your room? Mm -hmm. Okay. Blackout curtains can be really helpful with that, even if you don't close them all the way. I know that some people who get blackout curtains, you know, uh, they end up not liking them because it's too dark and they feel like they aren't um, awake when their alarm goes off. Um, I would say find a good balance for you. And if you do need to sleep through the daytime, you know, sometimes complete blackout can be exactly what you need. What is your typical bedroom temperature? What do you set the thermostat at? I would suggest leaving it on the cooler side, but not too cold where your fingers are going numb or anything like that. But just cool enough, um, you will find it more difficult to sleep when it's hot, so maybe um, you can add a fan to your bedroom. A lot of people actually find that that uh, actually enhances their sleep. Uh, some people like the sensation and the sound. I personally cannot sleep with a fan. Mm -hmm. Any sort of wind blowing on me keeps me awake. Mm -hmm. But some of my friends absolutely swear by it. I know. Okay. I also suggest keeping your room as tidy as you can. On a scale of 1 to 10, what's the tidiness of your bedroom? Okay. Even when your eyes are closed, knowing that your room is clean and neat can actually help you relax. Um, you could do a white noise machine, use some ASMR, uh, get some headphones that lay perfectly on your ears. Uh, changing your sheets about once a week, especially the pillowcases. I like those nice, that nice fresh linen feeling. Um, you know, just sort of making your room your sleep temple. So whatever you can do to make yourself comfortable and make it as tidy as possible. Yeah, and then in terms of you, making sure that you're not wearing anything too restrictive. So, you know, checking in with your body, like, am I comfortable? Is there anything too tight, pulling on me, itchy, etc.? Make sure you take care of that uh, before you settle down. I know all of this sounds uh, fairly obvious, but I think it's taking the time to make sure that you're taken care of could make a big difference if you find it hard to, hard to sleep. Yeah. All right. Now, what is your ideal sleep schedule? It's definitely in your best interest to have a consistent one. Even on weekends or vacations, try to stick to it. I'd say at least at least seven hours of sleep. Eight or nine is ideal. But you you know your body best. Okay. Yeah. I think a lot of people, you know, when they start going to bed earlier, getting up earlier, people find that they really enjoy it. Yeah. And it, when you start in the beginning, if you're laying in bed and you don't fall asleep after 20 minutes, get up, read a chapter of a book, do some tidying, do some sort of boring activity, and then when you really feel sleepy, try again. Um, your bedtime routine, speaking of. So that would be including things like 
brushing your teeth, following your skincare routine, taking care of your pets or children if you have any, but it could also be, you know, making sure that things are tidy. You could do some light meditation, uh, read a chapter of a book, listen to a chapter of an audiobook. Um, those are great because you can close your eyes during them, so you start, you know, half asleep. And then when the chapter's done, you know, you can sort of drift off. Um, switch to, you know, some sounds that you like, an ASMR video that you like. Exactly. Sometimes listening to an audiobook in a chair, and then, you know, you get up, finish your bedtime routine, settle in bed with an ASMR video. You know, I'm not saying that's what I do, but... Um, now, I wouldn't recommend any bright lights, so if you use your phone, which is very common, I think it's slightly unrealistic to say to not use your phone, um, you should just set it to a dim light setting and change the light filter to night mode. Yeah, exactly, that shouldn't keep you up. Mm -mm. But I know you do, uh, I know you do all these things already, right? That's what I thought, okay. <laughs> and now, um, based on your answers, I do have a couple of things that I'd like to sort of test. Just to see if these make you fall asleep any easier. With our candle, I would love to do some breathing exercises with you. Then I have face brushing, little tiny bit of lavender spritz, scalp scratching, wooden block sounds, page turning, card shuffling, and then just doing a little bit of counting. That sound good? Awesome. I'm so glad. So, what you want to do with your breathing? Um, the most simple and effective is to breathe in for four seconds, hold for seven seconds, and breathe out for eight seconds. So, I'm gonna go ahead and you can hold this candle. A little bit closer. Give you something to uh, visualize with the breathing. Okay, so we're gonna breathe in for four seconds. Ready? And now. In for four. And out. In for four. And out. In. Hold. And out. One more time. In. And out. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and blow out the candles so that you can get the full effect of the upcoming triggers. The candle's perfect for uh, visualization. 
for the breathing but I would also like to move on to a different trigger which is using a clean brush to brush your face is it alright if I use this to brush your face? okay so this is a kabuki brush which means it's very thick and it's very, very soft across and up in a circle I'm going to do a little brush strokes here Love out. And lightly <laughs> tickle your face. Like that. Now using the brush. Is that effective? Good. Good. I think the perfect thing to follow up with that is a very quick trigger um, because you don't want to spray too much. You certainly don't want to overwhelm your senses in a bad way. Uh, so this is distilled water, lavender essential oil, chamomile essential oil, witch hazel, rosemary extract, aloe vera, and jojoba oil. So 100% natural aromatherapy, 
go ahead and go ahead and shake low before use. You can use it as a body, room, linen, car, or gym, mist. Any water safe surface will do. Can also be used as an effective gentle skin toner. I wouldn't use this on freshly shaven skin, any broken skin, anything like that. You don't want to get in your eyes or your mouth or anything, but it is non-toxic and eco-friendly. It's not tested on animals and it's paraben free. Unwind into a state of pure serenity. Relax your body and mind. I'm going to go ahead and give you, let's just do two sprays. You ready? One. Two. <sighs> this with the lavender candle, it's a good choice. I'm getting sleepy. Like I said, a little bit of the, the shorter side, because you don't want to do too much of that. How would you find that effectiveness? Okay. It's certainly the different senses, so whether you're sensitive to touch, smell, uh, sound, Let's do the wooden blocks. Yeah. I have these wooden blocks here. And they just make a lovely, natural tapping sound.
do such a good job of making very pure sound. What did you think? Okay. Um, similarly, organic sounding, coming from the same source, would be page turning. Hmm. So I do have this uh, book here. This is the Grimm's Complete Fairy Tales. Now, I wouldn't say that the Brothers Grimm are very relaxing, <laughs> but the book itself is very really pretty. They have a nice picturesque scene on the back. This looks like Sleeping Beauty. We have the thorns of the rose bush. A lot of roses here. There's more on top. Stars in the sky and our heroic prince figure riding in a magical steed to save or rescue or encounter our rescuee inside the castle. Go ahead and turn some for you, and then we'll do like some um, faster flipping through. So, ah, oh, we've turned to Rumble Stiltskin. lovely pictures. Some ducks. The ducks which he had saved swam up to him, dived down, and brought the key out of the water. Three sleeping daughters. Three feathers. Little green maiden small, hopping hither and thither, hop quickly and bring me the great box here. I don't know about that rhyming. Donkey cabbage. The juniper tree. Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. That's a very common one, thanks to Disney. The shoes that were danced to pieces. Not so common. The fisherman and his wife. The rose. She will read a little story of the sunset. Moment had passed. The 
I don't really know what I expected from a random brother's groom. I essentially brought this upon myself, and I apologize. That was a bit of a thinker. Look at this though. It's so lovely. What we call this? Inner cover art. Stunning. I love this. Little castle nestled there. Trees and stars. And forest. is quite awkward to hold at that angle. The back cover is the same. And it comes with a ribbon to mark a story, hold your place, etc. So how effective did you find this? And what about the terrifying, uh, Rose story? I see. Okay. Okay. I appreciate your feedback. Now, transitioning into a similar sound would be A deck of cards. Um, they're quite a bit thicker than a, a storybook page. Oh. While well, the sound is similar, it has a different weight to it. Now, I can't shuffle in any capacity, so this wouldn't be a truly an effective visual trigger if you find, uh, you know, shuffling cards very satisfying, but mostly for the sound of the cards falling on top of each other. quite a different sound than this. See. And just a singular card. Maybe 
Yeah, the six of hearts. The five of hearts. three of hearts the two of hearts one, two and the ace of hearts so I should transition well Sleeping mask. 